G'day there, Damien from Integrity Property Education. And if you're interested in property investment, property investing, property investment strategies, or property investing advice, you've come to the right place. Today's blog post is three questions to ask your rental manager to make sure they're gonna be a good one. Question number one, do they own property themselves? Now, some people might find this a bit odd, but you just think about it this way. Unfortunately, in Australia, most real estate agents are owned by old, dodgy men, and that may sound a bit weird, but they tend to employ young, attractive females in the rental management department. I don't know why this is the case, but 50% of the time, it's true. Now, that may sound inappropriate, but it's true. So, the question you've got to ask yourself is, do you want a young 18, 19, 20-year-old girl um, managing your investment property, or do you want someone who's 30-something and owns property themselves? Let's go through some scenarios. So your rental manager is going to do an inspection on your property. You've got a couple of rough, tough-looking bikies living there or something like that, and you know, and they say they sort of stand there and stand over. Now, what sort of response uh, is, is that young person going to do? Also, too, if the person is, if the rental manager is a renter themselves, who are they more likely to be sympathetic towards? You, the landlord, or the tenants? Now, in Australia, you know, we have an egalitarian society. Even the term landlord is very offensive to some people because nobody's my lord, right? And, and so the whole psychology changes. This is why it's really important to make sure that your rental manager actually owns property themselves. Because once you own a property yourself, you cross over the threshold in terms of your attitude towards landlords and your attitude towards owning property. And then it, they will treat that property the same way they would want their property treated by a rental manager, and you'll get a much, much better rental manager as a general rule. Now, of course, what I'm saying is generalizations, and of course, what I'm saying, uh, there's exceptions to these rules. But most of the time, these rules are very accurate. And if you're desperately trying to find a rental manager and you need to sort the wheat from the chaff as quick as possible, that rule is going to help you out dramatically. Rule number two, or question number two, how many properties do they have under management? Ask them that. Now, most rental managers will tell you that in full, and they'll probably even inflate the number a little bit to try and impress you. Who are you going to be more impressed by? Someone who says they only manage five properties or someone who says they manage, manage 100? Now, most people would think the person who manages 100 must be better because they've got more people to put faith into them. But that may not necessarily be the case. So first question you want to ask is how many properties do they have under management? And then the third question, sorry, that was the second question. The third question is then how many staff have they got in their rental management department to manage all those properties? And before they've wondered why you're asked, you've worked out what their ratio is with the answer to the second question, the answer to the third, what is their ratio of staff to property managers? Now, this is really, really critical because if you think about what you want your rental managers to do for you, now in most states, rental inspections have to be done every three months and there's only 220 working days in the year. So if there's 220 working days in the year, and a rental manager's got to manage, you know, got to do four inspections on your property. Well, how many days work do you need the rental manager to be doing for you throughout the year? Now, rental management, a uh, rental inspection is about a three-hour task. When you think about it, they're sitting at the office. They've got to print off the previous report so that they can and a, and a fresh blank report. Then they've got to get in their car. They've got to go to the property, and you'd want them to spend at least an hour there doing that inspection properly, going through, looking at all the stuff every room in detail and making sure that there were no damages and all those things that need to be fixed have been noted. Now, then they've got to get back in their car, drive back to the office and type up the report. So they've got to do that you know, four times a year. So there's two days of work straight away. Then we've also got, we require them to do the books and uh, you know to pay us our rent and, and organise tradesmen and do, if our property is vacant, they have to do open homes and the days are gone where some of you may remember where you could just go and hand over a $50 deposit and get a set of keys for a vacant investment property, go and inspect it yourself. Can't do that anymore. The rental manager has to go with them. Some enterprising thieves went around and you know inspected a whole heap of properties and made copies of the keys and then went and robbed the new tenants later. So they, they changed the legislation. Rental manager must do the open home now. 
So a rental manager, you probably need about three days' work out of a rental manager every year. Uh, and if they're managing any more than 100 properties, then that's a real problem for you, isn't it? Because they must be neglecting something. So very important ratio, one to 100 is about ideal. Any more than 150, run the other way. Now, I've been stung by this before. I had a rental manager, um, who a really good one, who sold their rent roll and to another management agency and they took it over. And then I had all sorts of disasters. I later found out that rental man management agency was running one to 250 ratio. Now, one to 250 ratio is ridiculous and not manageable. So ask those questions. Do you own property yourself? How many properties got under management and how many staff have you got to manage them? If you get the right answers, then give them a go. If you don't, go somewhere else. That's it from me today. Remember, we run one-day courses all the way around the country. They're absolutely free and no obligation to, to do anything afterwards. Go to propertyinvestmentmentor.com.au, click on the training tab, and you'll see when we're next going to be in a city or regional centre near you. Get yourself an education. All of these things we cover on the day, and happy property investing. Until next time, that's it from me.